so important to be comfortable in your space and also be proud to invite people into your space. Anybody that walks in my home is like, wow, you have a really beautiful home. And I never knew how that compliment would make me feel. Like I've been complimented on my outfits and about, you know, my work, but it's like when people compliment you on your home, you know, it just, it makes you feel good. It also needs to be a reflection of you. So if you take a look at yourself in a mirror and you see how you're dressed, your home should be a reflection of you. And when you go home, you'll be happy. I always say that if there were three pictures up and you had to guess which house was mine, you would know which one was mine. The one with the pink Mongolian fur. The one with the pink <laughs> Mongolian fur. I love pink and I love sparkles. I think that once you have your style in mind or things that you like, there are a lot of things that you can do yourself, that you can thrift or you can improvise. Really a lot of outlet shopping, just being thrifty, going to thrift stores. If you see a table, spray paint it. Or if you don't like the seat cushion on the chair, just change it. Go to the fabric store and staple it. It's so easy and there are a million videos to find out how to do so. So those are pretty much the big pieces knocked out. Just shop around and be patient. Ikea is just, the, I, I don't know, I think it's just like the greatest place on the planet because everything is so cheap mm -hmm. and anyone can access Ikea. So finding a new desk may cost you $100, if that. I think that people don't think about their lighting. You taught me this. Oh, yes. Like, changing your lighting in the kitchen. First thing. You can change your kitchen lighting for $15 at Ikea. And it's so, so, so easy. Because all the kitchens come with that fluorescent light. Yeah. Take that down and put Take a track down. light. And point each light at the three workstations. Your sink, your stove, and your refrigerator. Oh, and yeah. your ambiance. Another thing in Ikea that I know that people probably don't is the picture frames. Oh, yeah, the Reba. The, re the Reba. <laughs> the Reba picture frame, you can, put, you can put wrapping paper in it and make it look like high class art. You can like literally take some paint and just move your fingers <laughs> exactly. around on it, let it dry, and people are gonna ask, oh my God, where'd you get that? And Overstock.com. Oh, yes. Overstock is the bomb. That's they always have a sale on rugs mm -hmm. and lighting and um, consoles for some reason. I will say this too that you probably won't mention, you can in the future, is that painting. You can literally, if you just want to do a season refresh, you've lived in your apartment for two years, three years, go ahead and repaint it. And it's therapeutic. I painted my whole house after a breakup. By the time I was done painting, I was over it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's my leak and I wanted to invite you into my guest bedroom because it is full of all of my DIY projects. I love to do things over and so I want to show you this really awesome buffet that I thrifted right down the street and this started off dark brown and these were actually black. I soaked them in some vinegar and then I scrubbed them with salt. So we brought them to life with gold. Then I'm gonna take you over to this dresser that I thrifted for $40. This was black when I got it and I used a little bit of the Disney paint. Disney makes a lot of the fun pastel colors if you love pastels. And then I just switched out the knobs. I think they may have cost a couple of bucks. And you got this fun sort of jewel toned dresser that you can store things in. I also wanna show you this chair that I painted. This came, this is a light brown bamboo. I used an oil paint for this and it's like, I think it's the, the color is flame. And then I added a custom pillow to the top. You can get these made. All you have, I found the fabric um, in the clearance bin. It's a gold zebra fabric. You can change this out anytime you want to. So when you get tired of this, you can move it. And so I think the pillows are like 40 bucks each to have made. This is the only drawing and painting of mine that I have in my house. I know some people are like, you draw and you paint too. And so I drew this, I painted it, and I have it framed because I just like it. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna take you over to something fun that you can do that you probably never thought about. And this is a frame from Ikea. I think this frame might be $20. And this is just wrapping paper. It's really nice wrapping paper that you can get at Sam Flax. I took one over the other. I think they may be about $6 a piece. And so you think you have this really cool piece of art for less than 40 bucks. So that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for hanging out in my guest bedroom.